My name is Dr. Anand. So let's, let's start this uh, beautiful FMG recall. Wonderful questions. Very simple to the point. Let's finish it off. So number one, very importantly in the FMG recall, the first question we had over here is the preterm baby with the complaints of breathing difficulty and chest x-ray is shown below. So the answer for this question was a white out lung, which is seen in a case of hyaline membrane disease, number one. So white out lung, HMD. One more question was there, a baby came with complaints of pain, abdomen, arthralgia and rashes, specifically in the lower limbs. So pain, abdomen, arthralgia and rashes, specifically in the lower limbs, we are talking about Hinong, Shonlin, Purpura. This question was there. A child came with third question was there, which is uh, of our thanks to our mission FMG classes. Everything was spot on accordingly that only a child came with complaints of bluish spot on the buccal mucosa. So the answer for this question was measles. So measles has cuff coriza conjunctivitis and bluish uh, spot on the buccal mucosa. This was an interesting question, actually. Uh, a baby with persistence of asymmetric tonic neck reflex will not be able to achieve which of the following milestones. So number one, we have done in our classes, this is known as ATNR, asymmetric tonic neck reflex, which is also known as bow and arrow reflex. If I turn the baby head to one side, one limb will extend and one limb will flex. So normally what happens, ATNR disappears by six months and why nature is, uh, uh, you know, causing disappearing of ATNR by six months because so that the baby can roll over. So rollover starts to come by six months and ATNR disappears by six months. So that is why if persistence of ATNR is there, the child will not be able to roll over. छह महीने के बाद ये रिफ्लेक्स खत्म हो जाता है और बच्चा अपने आप रोल करता है तो छह महीने के बच्चे को अगर आप एक तरफ टर्न करोगे तो वो बो एन एरो शो नहीं करेगा वो चुपचाप रोल ओवर करेगा तो दैट इज वाई दिस इज आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर चैनल विच पास इज द लिवर एंड कंटिन्यूज एज वट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वी हैन दैट इन फीटल सर्कुलेशन डॉक्टर इज अ बाईपास चैनल डेफिनेटली येस वी नो विच पास इज द लिवर विच बेसिकली बाईपास इज द लिवर एंड कंटिन्यूज एज वट सो डॉक्टर no it continues as inferior vena cava and we have done that in our fetal circulation chapter a child with cyanosis and clubbing and chest x ray shown below so cyanotic congenital heart we all know asd vsd pdr a cyanotic congenital heart tetralogy of fallow basically boot shape heart this was the question x ray had given so tetralogy of fallow uh, this is not tga because it is not egg on side appearance one student had told me kartik dua had told that vsd pe question aaya tha aur pucha tha ki kaun sa murmur hota hai so exact question though i don't know but they were saying that the child with recurrent cuff and cold and a cyanotic congenital heart suggesting of VSD. Which of the following murmur is seen? So VSD will have a pan-systolic murmur and a PDA will have a continuous machinery murmur. This question was spot on was there a baby with rashes with pleomorphic rash. Pleomorphic rash means all the stages of rashes are present at the same time. The answer is chicken pox. We have done that in our classes very beautifully. This was a very interesting question that what is the use of MDI in asthma? As in not exactly the MDI but definitely the spacer. Ye spacer ka kya function hota hai? This is a MDI, this is a spacer and then we usually have a mask so spacer ka exact options i'll not give but the, the right answer is this it reduces the oropharyngeal deposition i i tell the patient to use spacer while using the mdi so basically it reduces the oropharyngeal deposition and reduces the speed of aerosol particle for a better deposition in the lungs matlab student ne kaha tha ye line likhi hui thi it reduces the oropharyngeal deposition yes that's right directly inhaler lenge to mouth pe deposit ho jata hai isliye spacer agar lenge तो लंग्स तक जाएगा ओके देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन निमोनिया एंड रिगार्डिंग वन कंसोलिडेशन इन निमोनिया कंसोलिडेशन क्वेश्चन दे हैड आस्क एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर रिगार्डिंग आई टी पी अ चाइल्ड केम विद कंप्लेट ऑफ फीवर विद रैशेज सीन इन लोअर लिम्स देन ऑन हिमाटोलॉजिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन पी टी एपी टी टी वर नॉर्मल बट प्लेटलेट काउंट वर रिड्यूस एंड पेरिफिल ब्लड स्मेर शो इंक्रीज मेगा कैरियोसाइट लाइक दिस इज अ रिकॉल नॉट एक्जैक्टली बट द आंसर वॉज आई टी पी आई टी पी पे क्वेश्चन आया था द क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर ऑन इडियोपैथिक थ्रोमोसाइटोपिनिक परप्यूरा ओके and this is what they had asked in exams now uh, this was a they said it was a gobs gynae question but the answer was transient tachypnea of newborn a newborn baby born to lscs came with breathing difficulty with x ray showing fluid in the interlobar fissure so fluid in the interlobar fissure it is seen in ttn and the student had told that it was a gobs gynae question but the answer was transient tachypnea of newborn so these were the questions and one more question last question was there on apgar score exact question detail i don't know thoda sa hi aaya hai abhi it is the little bit information i have 
बट येस देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन अपगार्ड स्कोर विच हैज बी विच वी हैव डन थाउजेंड टाइम्स इन आर मिशन एफ एम जी क्लासेस सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट रिगार्डिंग पीट्स क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन बेस्ट ऑफ लक आई नो द रिजल्ट विल बी ऑसम नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्टिसिपेंट स्लैश फैकल्टी विल टेक ओवर द लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच Thank you.